What an awesome God we serve. What a tremendous God we serve. What an amazing friend and provider and lawyer, advocate, doctor we serve, right? You know, this week I was thinking, you know, can you imagine being friends, agreeing to be friends with somebody who you know is going to betray you? You wouldn't do that, right? Can you imagine paying somebody's bond, or what do you call it, a bail, when you know they're not going to show up for jail, for our court? You're going to lose your money. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine letting someone live in your house who you know is going to mash up your place? Can you imagine that? But can you imagine a God who, if he knew already that we were going to betray him, he knew that we were going to slay him, he knows that we're going to hurt him, do all kinds of things to him. And yet, before all of that, he sent his son to die for you and for me. Can you imagine a friendship like that? Can you imagine a love like that? It just blows your mind. That is the God that we serve. That is the God that woke you up this morning, woke me up. That's the God that said, come, you're coming to Metro today. I have something special to share with you today. That is the God that we serve. Aren't you excited about a God like that? I'm excited about a God like that.